word to Harry. We'll meet him at Grandma's in a little while. Okay? Punisher. Now let me tell you something about this Punisher, whoever he is. If he ever shows up within 1,000 yards of me, he'll find out what the word punished really means. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, there you have it. The Dapper Don, allegedly head of the powerful Franco crime family, once again shrugging off any fear of the Punisher, despite the fact that over 125 organized crime figures murdered by the self-styled vigilante in the last five years. This is Lori Silvers for Channel 8 News. Hey, what do you think? Maybe I got a future in politics. <laughs> okay, enough of the jokes. Let's break out the champagne. I'll get it, boss. No. First things first, you guys check the house. I'll get the champagne. Sure. Hey, Mikey, set the music around here. Winning isn't everything. It's the only Who's that? Cover this. Oh. 
Doctor, holy shit, the Punisher! It's him! Move it for a close-up! Get, get, get a close-up! I got it! You were supposed to meet me here four hours ago. I know. I know all about it. I've been hearing it all my life. Shaq's responsibility. Can't keep an appointment. Where is the dope coming into? The dope. The dope. Oh, oh that. Pier 30. But... But the location's not the big story. Who'll be there is... Who'll be there? Everyone. They're all working together now. One big happy family. Under the fatherly wing of your old friend, Johnny Franco. Mr. P! Happy hunting! I can't get this friggin' thing to work. Very difficult. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Wait. There's 500 million dollars out there, assholes. Cool out. Here, check the perimeter. Get with it. Red one, come here. Red one, will you get off your ass? What? Everything's okay? Yeah. <laughs> Red two, what have you got? Bad kidneys. I gotta pee. So pee. Everything's okay? Yeah. It's dead here. <laughs> oh! Faggot Frenchman. Here they come. Here they come!
600 kilos of dope, seven dead wise guys, all from different families. This is a drug deal gone bad. Yes, again. Hideko Tanaka. She's single in her early 40s. She has one daughter, a mute American girl she adopted at birth, who never loses sight. She's a graduate from Harvard Business School and the first female ever to have the Yakuza. Yaku what? Yakuza, Japanese mafia. This is a long fucking way from Japan. It is. What the hell are they doing here? I don't know. We we're about to find out. Okay. Lady Tanaka. Mr. Franco, it is an honor. Your reputation precedes you. As does yours. Please sit down. No, thank you. What I have to say will be brief. We have been tracking your organization for quite some time. Your leadership is decimated. Your soldiers are inexperienced. Our little demonstration on Pier 30 was ample proof of that. You're weak, Mr. Franco. Vulnerable. And we are not. We could cripple all your operations, legal as well as illegal, very easily. But we don't want that. With all due respect, Mr. Tanaka, let's cut through the bullshit and get to the heart of the matter. What do you want? A partnership. Define the term. You will continue to manage and oversee all your business on a day-to-day -day basis. We will assume the duties of executive administration, investments, and financial services. Come on. I'm not through. What do you propose as a split? 75% for us. 25% for you. <laughs> no fucking way am I gonna be a salary boy to some bunch of nips, got that? I don't know about the rest of you guys, but the DeLeo family gives up shit. We don't work for nobody. Who the fuck do you think you are? Oh. We are Yakuza. When your ancestors were still shepherds screwing sheep on the Mediterranean coast, as were the crime lords of Asia. I'm not offering terms, Mr. Franco. I'm making demands. And what if we choose not to comply? Steps are now being taken to ensure that you will. You Americans have a great capacity for violence. But it is wild, unfocused. You will learn. No! Oh! Good day, gentlemen. What do we do? Only one thing we can. We go to war. Now, what do you think you want to do with that? Play Miss Pac-Man or something? Hopefully find Castle. No shit. No shit. Uh -huh. And just how are you going to accomplish this little miracle? Well, 
I have accessed into all available data banks with information on him and programmed the computer to come up with an analysis of probable locations. Oh, wow. I mean, even the Punisher has to live somewhere. <laughs> Hey, you see this board here? Yeah. I've been living with this board for five years. Every time he kills somebody, I put a red pin in it. And I fine tooth every building, every alley in this city. And so far, the only thing that I've got to show for it is these little calling cards here. A whole bunch of these. I've already been through this city. I've been in it, around it, on top of it. You name it. How about under it? your flair for entrances, you should consider a career in the theater. I'll think about it. What are you doing here? What would I be doing tramping around the sewers of this great metropolis? Sightseeing. <laughs> Very funny. I bring you news, you give me grief. You know they all think you're dead. They'll kill each other now. Turn the lights off when you leave. Very clever. And what will you do while the carnage ensues? Take a vacation. Yes, I hear the sewers of Paris are lovely this time of year. And what about the children? What children? The children of the new bosses are now counted among their losses. They're being held for ransom by the Japanese. So the bosses will have to pay up. Pay they will, and all for naught. The children will be sold by the slave trade that they have bought. My God, man, don't you see? This is a result of your five-year killing spree. You weakened the fathers to such degrees they couldn't protect their own families. I punish the guilty. And as a result, the innocent now suffer. You must do something. Enough of this fucking brainstorming. I say we snatch her daughter, we take her to the meeting with this in her mouth, and then we talk. Freddy, before you go off snatching anybody, let me tell you a little story about our Miss Tanaka. The only person she was ever close to was her twin brother. They grew up in an orphanage in Tokyo after the Second World War. They were inseparable. They lived together the whole lives. One day, he stuck the Yakuza for a lot of money, which he had no intention of paying back. Nothing happened to him because of her. Then other people started getting the same idea. Before she could become head of the organization, the other leaders demanded an act of absolute loyalty. You know what she did? She went home, cooked her brother a beautiful meal, waited until he had finished, 
and then slit his throat. Jesus. So what are you saying? We don't deal with her? I'm saying we can't deal with her. No. What you're saying is there's nothing that can save our kids. There is, but it's lying on the bottom of the harbor. Well, I'm going to the meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm not. Good. The money for the children. The slave business is very profitable. <laughs> hey, come on. Don't cry. We're gonna be okay. We're not going to be okay. It's because of my father that I'm here. It's not true. Then why are we here, Mr. Nordoff? I don't know. I do. We're being held for ransom because our fathers are rich gangsters. Then why am I here? My father's not a gangster. <laughs> what? Are you kidding? Your father's the biggest gangster and a coward. My dad said if he didn't run from his responsibilities, there wouldn't be this mess. Bullshit! You're bullshit! <laughs> Why are you fighting? Everything is going to be all right. I want to go home. And you will. When? Soon. Contacts tell me the kids are here. You sure there's it? Uh, I'd stake my reputation on it if I had one. You got a spare? What? One of those. Listen, if the whole of the kids here is with the fucking arsenal, you move left instead of right, you're dead. The critics said the same thing about my Hamlet. Stay here. Watch your back.
Question, true, false, or multiple choice? Neither. Do you think I give a shit? something to say. find one damn clue? Yeah, we could get lucky. Oh, the eternal optimist, huh? <laughs> Look who's talking. Five years with no leads, and I've got you tramping around the sewers on a computer hunch. How come? How come what? How come you never gave up? Because I know what it's like to be given up on. Who gave up on you? Everybody. Except him, right? 
That's right. So what happened? Well, you know how you go out for a drink after work? Well, in my case, it was a drink before work, the drink during work, and finally the drink instead of work. But it became a problem. Nobody wanted to deal with it, especially me. Before I knew it, I was busted down to collecting empty shell casings and the firing range. Out of sight, out of mind. And along comes Frank Castle with a shiny new detective badge. And he says, he wants to learn from the guy who wrote the book by busting that guy, me. So he took me into his life, helped me get my act together, and showed me how to be a cop again. So I figured what's a little sewer shit on the shoes for a friend. You know, when we get our kids back, I'm gonna rip her fucking heart out with my bare hands, I swear. None for me. I'm on medication. Hey, salute. Here's to the safe return of our children. Salute. Salute. Here we go. So, Mr. Franco decided not to attend. A wise decision. What are you talking about? Kids ready to boat sails in an hour. Oh, yeah, I want you to meet Jim.
charge of the body count. What the hell happened, Frank? Frank is dead. All right? Oh, I see. So you, uh, decided that everybody else had to be dead, too, is that it? No. If you're guilty, you're dead. Courts decide who's guilty, not cops. They hereby swear to uphold the law. Remember? I've been looking for you for five years, man. Why the hell didn't you come to me for help? I didn't need your help. You're sick. You know that, don't you? And what the fuck do you call 125 murders in five years, huh? Work in progress. This is no fucking joke here. They are going to electrocute you. And there's nothing I can do anything about. But you gotta talk to me, man. Let me in! Let me in! My fucking family, too. Right? They were my family, too. Now let me in, goddamn. Let me in! an unprecedented 125 first-degree murder charges. There's still no news as to the whereabouts of Tommy Franco, the son of crime boss Johnny Franco. Where's Berkowitz? Hurting. What happened between you two when he what came the to fuck see you? Do you care? Hey, I care. I'm his partner. He carried the burden for a long time by himself. He needed help, and you weren't there. I was the next best thing. He resigned from the force after he saw you. He lived for the day he found you so that he could help you. That's all he had, and now you've taken that away. He's your best friend. Why do you want to take him down with you? You, you were his life before this ever happened. And you've been his life ever since, and you fucking well know that. How long do you think someone can live after you've cut out their heart? A long time. Like you? Is that what you want for Jake? To live like you? Call him. What? I said... I can't do it myself. 
myself, or I would. I need you, Castle. I'll give you anything you want. I'll do anything you wish. Say something. Fuck you. Let me put it another way. Second button. What's that gonna blow out? Everything else. Hey. I gotta take a leak. Be my guest. That's fine. Except I don't know what the boss is gonna say about a yellow stain on the seat. equipment for me? In front. Hey, uh, can I ask you a question? What? Is an IQ test required for this job? No. Oh. I didn't think so. Hey, man, I got the pizza. <laughs> What's the reason behind you killing all those guys? There's a limit to revenge. Well, I guess I haven't reached one yet.
Which way? Yeah! Not that way. This poor old slob. Get on the case. Do the job. Hey, hey, come take care of this guy. I operate under my own steam. Thank you.
how long it's gonna take to get an elevator. It's hard to say. Elevators are very temperamental things. So are cops that don't like being jerked around. Now, how long? Ten minutes. How long? Hey, how long? Uh, five minutes. Ah, oh, Mr. Franco. How nice to see you again. Let him go. You've gotten everything you wanted. Not quite yet. Another step, Mr. Franco. Oh, you can't win here. You kill him, I kill you. And who loses more? Certainly not me. What do you want? On your knees. Franco. <laughs> will be the most powerful crime syndicate on earth and that boy whose life you saved will inherit all of it and the only thing he will have to fear i'm about to eliminate you gave me back my son thank you very much i'm in your debt see you in hell castle dad Tommy!
Kill you. Good. Maybe if you get it over with now, you won't grow up to be like him. I still talk to God sometimes. I ask him if what I'm doing is right or wrong. I'm still waiting for an answer. And until I get one, I'll be out here. Waiting. Watching. The guilty will be punished. 